Hello, I am back at my parents' house. I was just quarantined for 10 days at a friend's house, which was uh, crazy to say the least. <laughs> you walk in the dog? <laughs> but we're all COVID free. The reason why I'm excited to be back home is I can finally start on this project that I've been waiting to do for a while. There is a woman in my life, her name is Caitlin, and I love her so much. And it's her birthday coming up and I want to do something special because she has been very special to me, especially this past year. In general, she's just a golden hearted, beautiful woman. Some may say an angel. So I wanted to do something uh, special for her birthday, which is to make a stained glass portrait of an angel so she can see how I see her. Oh, I know, it's pretty cute. Um, you may be thinking to yourself, Sarah, a stained glass portrait? Who are you? <laughs> uh, the reason why I can do this is because I have a sister who is an artist, which is, makes her one kind of cooler than your sister and also very useful uh, this past Christmas, my mom hates cold weather, loves warm weather. We live in a cold weather climate. We decided to make her a stained glass portrait of a beach scene so she could look at it and dream her little dreams. This is the first stained glass portrait that Devin had ever made and it kind of shows. Just kidding, it's perfect. Isn't that lovely? Please excuse the decorations. Uh, this year has been a bit hard. So our family is celebrating every birthday like it's a fifth grade birthday party. So the first step that we had to do was figure out which design we wanted to use. Hi, I'm the artist. She's the artist. So this is the design that we found online. We want to make a couple of changes, like get rid of these smaller pieces, increase the wingspan, and also add a halo to the background. So the design we came up with was this. So we have all the pieces numbered and the colors that we wanted to get for them. Now that that was done, I needed to get a couple of supplies. Cut to Sarah at Hobby Lobby. So today at Hobby Lobby, we're here to get this, a diamond bit glass grinder, along with all these other supplies that you will see used later. I also needed to pick up some colors of glass that I didn't already have, like this medium brown tone that I used for the angel's hair. And then for a skin color, there wasn't too many options between this yellow, this clear color. I ended up going with a pale pink color, as you can see right here. And then lastly, I picked up this beautiful orange for the halo behind the angel. Thanks, Hobby Lobby Sarah. So now that we have all that figured out, I have all the pieces, I have the grinder, we have everything. We are now going to be banished to the basement because we have a lot of animals and glass around is not a good thing to have when you have animals. Isn't that right, Dev? That's right, Sarah. Time to get set up. So we're gonna start off by tracing the stencil with Sharpie onto the different colors of glass. We did this for each part of the angel, but to save time, we're just gonna show you the skirt. When you fracture glass, it tends to fracture in a straight line, so we're trying to make the lines as straight as possible. So now Devin's gonna show us how it's done, starting off with this terrible sound. Can you hear that sound? Like that? Mm -hmm. You wanna line it up with the middle of this plier and then you just put some pressure on it and it snaps off. I think that was a little better. There you go. Wow, I did it. And so I was off, being the little artist that I am, cutting glass. Look at me go. Still cutting that piece of glass. All right. did in one good job okay so now we have our two pieces this is what i'm gonna do for just this piece and then just gonna do the rest of the pieces separately and i'll show you when we have the pieces done but i'm going to make this into the four separate skirt pieces last time devin got glass in her eye so we're gonna wear these from now on safety first so here we have the rough cut of the skirt and now the next step is going to be to use the glass grinder to get rid of all the rough edges. It's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. As you could tell, Devin was very excited to have such a lovely piece of equipment. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. 
Last time she was doing this, she had to use a modified drill bit, so this was uh, pretty nice to have and it made things a lot smoother. Literally. Wow. Devin traced the hair and it looks really dumb. All right, I hear you. You want a satisfying montage of me snapping glass. Here you go. to do skin. <laughs> it was cute. It was cute? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. I goofed it. But we will try again. After a couple of hours of a lot of broken glass and some grinding. So this is where we're leaving off for the night. We did most of the angel. We have the skin, the hair, and the dress. And we can do the rest tomorrow. Okay, so. <laughs> on the docket today, we have the belt, the crown, the wings, and the halo behind the angel. These are some of the wings. And these are the other wings. No! Freaky dude. Not perfect, but we got most of them. This will be the crown and the belt. The paper is getting progressively more wrinkly, but this is where we're at so far. We are not a foil. Make sure your workstation is clean without any hazards. <laughs> There's so many shards <laughs> of glass. So Sarah has already chosen that the solder that she's going to be using, the color is going to be silver. If she wanted it to be black with like a patina, we would have done a black foil. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not going to use any of this? Okay. So we're laying down the tape. And then we're going to fold. Oh, so you're going to do it. <laughs> so we're laying down the tape. <laughs> Tell him, Devin. Nope. So we're laying down the tape on all the pieces that you saw beforehand. And then she's smoothing it out with her finger. So this is before she rolls it and makes it flat with a burnisher. Wow. I wish it could stay cold. I don't know, you always do that. It should look like this. So then Devin and I foiled the rest of the pieces, and as you can see, I am uh, quite the natural. So this is what the angel looks like when it's all foiled. Going to tack everything together so it all stays put so that you can solder. You're gonna dip the brush in the flux. This basically is what's gonna activate the solder. It's gonna help it stick the most. Mm -hmm. And to tack it, you are just gonna do like connection here connection here and here, here and here. We'll just do a tack here for now. And then you're just gonna hold it over it. Is that where you want this last piece? Mm -hmm. and pleasure to millions of music lovers. And one of the last steps was to shape the halo that would go behind the angel. So at this point we're at the rough solder stage where we're going to smooth all the bumps on the silver afterwards, but we're going to add the halo and attach it in the next clip, but right now, this is where it's at.
Wear gloves, kids. Mm. So now it's time to wash our angel clean so it's all shiny and new. And now it's time to move on to the very last step. What is that? This is patina to turn all this silver black. To make the colors pop? Yeah, so you have it dipped in for now. And then you're just gonna start rubbing it on like this. And you'll see it start to get, the tip starts to get brown. And here we have the final product. At first I was a bit sad when I dyed it black, but now seeing the silver on the background, I can see how much the colors pop when it's black. And I think for my first project, it came out pretty good. So now it was time to take the angel, wrap it up nice and safely, and bring it to Caitlin for her birthday. This is Caitlin. Hi. <laughs> there is a woman in my life. Her name is Caitlin. Oh, wait, well, that's and gay. I love her which is to make a stained glass portrait of an angel. So she can Oh see my gosh. Typing this boyfriend gift Boyfriend Cody, you can do the shot if you want. This is boyfriend Cody. Caitlin is not my girlfriend. What? There you go. I'm so impressed. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Oh. Okay. Did you show them that? I'm sure I you did. did. Like and subscribe. <laughs> so Caitlin loved her present and it was only possible because of this wonderful woman right here. So thank you so much, Devin, for all of your help. And I had so much fun with you even though right now you're yelling at me. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.